California has long been a leader in green energy and innovation. We have the most electric cars in the nation of any state, and now another alternative fuel source is emerging right in our own backyard. Today, Governor Gavin Newsom was in Oakland to unveil the nation's first hydrogen hub. So the hope is that it will someday fuel cars, trucks, and other modes of transportation. So what exactly is hydrogen fuel? Amanda Harry has more on its advantages and its drawbacks. While the governor is investing in more hydrogen energy, the number of refueling stations is still very limited. We spoke to a man that drove here to Hayward all the way from Modesto to fill up his car. And I just love it. I think this is going to be the, the future. Ken Peoples says he's been investing in hydrogen energy for years. And when the first hydrogen cars hit the market, he was in. Yeah, this one gives me like 325 miles, yeah, to one fuel. But Peoples has to use part of that mileage just to get to the pump, which is more than 60 miles from his home in Modesto. As long as you, you manage it, you know what you're doing. You know, you can't, you, you got to have more than one vehicle, though, if you're going to have it. <laughs> you know, if it's your primary one, you might have a little situations going on. Governor Newsom is also all in on hydrogen energy. He was at the Port of Oakland Good to, to celebrate uh, the new energy up. hub. The governor's office says it will cut up to 2 million metric tons of carbon emission every year and add hundreds of thousands of jobs. Newsom says California needs to set the tone for using hydrogen energy. And I think the world looks to us. I really mean it to see that this is possible. We're in the how business. The Department of Energy Undersecretary David Crane says the goal is to not only use it for private cars, but for public transit and larger vehicles. Hydrogen is the Swiss Army knife of, of energy sources. It does take a little bit longer to fuel. You get a little meditation time in that time. We also met up with Giselle Gordon, who stopped at the Hayward refueling station before going home to Southern California. There's only one station between here and L.A. where I go. It took Gordon $183 to fill up her tank, but she thinks it's worth it. She received a $15,000 fuel card from Toyota when she purchased the car. She says once she spends that, she'll be happy to shell out a little more money to help protect the environment. What I think is really cool about hydrogen is that there are renewable sources um, versus like petroleum fossil fuel where there are no renewable sources. You can't tell the difference between a uh, hydrogen ride or a, a gas or unleaded gas ride, no. For some people we spoke to, they say that getting a hydrogen-fueled car is still unrealistic because of how few stations there are to fill up in. There's only about 20 throughout the Bay Area and none in the city of San Francisco. The Bay Area is also home to the nation's first hydrogen-powered ferry. We were there as the sea change welcomed its first passengers and made its maiden run in in the bay that was back in July. So right now it is still in a pilot phase and the ferry is only running between Pier 41 and downtown San Francisco.